there's a quote from R.C. Sproul that really illustrates what we want to share this morning. And it's, uh, it goes like this. Hope, hope is called the anchor of the soul because it gives stability to the Christian life. But hope is not simply a wish. Rather, it is that which latches on to the certainty of the promises of the future that God has made. And it's just a wonderful quote. My name, like Aaron said, is Matt Munson. This is my wife, Krista. Mike is our middle child. William is the, our oldest. And Aiden is the, down there on the end. We are here to give an update about our son, Aiden, down there. And for those who don't know, Aiden was diagnosed with brain cancer before his third birthday. He's seven right now. So that's... He has a grade three brain tumor, and in his case, it is very large. And so the doctors gave us little hope and little options. And so um, basically we're going to monitor it and give him the best quality of life for as long as we could. Well, two years ago we were here and we updated you about the news that the tumor has not grown. Um, and that was a huge deal because this type of tumor was supposed to grow rapidly. Last year, after our MRI, we discovered the tumor had shrunk by one centimeter. That was even bigger news. <laughs> now, we're here, we're here today because um, I want to quote a section from the latest neurologist report on the MRI result we had two weeks ago. And I quote, his MRI demonstrates shrinking of the tumor. It has shrunk yet another centimeter. I have no real explanation as to how or why it is shrinking, end quote. <laughs> Praise God. We know our God is great, and we know that he is sovereign. We know he is why this tumor is shrinking. And we're humbled by his answering our prayers. This is a victory in our journey, and we give that glory to God. We have to say a victory, though, because this battle is not over. Just this last weekend, uh, Aiden had two seizures, um, which felt like a terrible blow to the victory we just experienced. Um, sorry. <laughs> it rattled us and reminded us that we don't know what God's plan is. However, we have this promise. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. That's Jeremiah 29, 11. We may not know. We don't need to know. But God knows. And he is worthy to be trusted. And this promise in Jeremiah, this is the hope we latch on to the certainty of God's goodness. God is good always, and he has a future plan for us. So we want to thank everyone for their prayers. This has been a trial for each one of us in this family, and we especially want to thank those who have prayed for us, each of us, since the very beginning. Thank you so, so much.